Hello, Alan Noon here, and today we're going to talk about destructibles. So within Unreal Editor 4, we have a way to construct destructibles right from any static mesh. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have our default scene here, and we have a simple static mesh, the material sphere. And all you really need to do is right-click, and from the pop-up menu, create destructible mesh. So you see there, it's now duplicated that mesh, and it's given a little pink bar on the bottom. That's to indicate this is a destructible mesh. So we'll double-click, and here we are in the destructible editor. We see our mesh. Now initially, the only settings you're really going to want to be concerned about are the number of cells here. So we'll just go with the default for the purpose of this example, and we're going to click Fracture Mesh. After a few seconds, the mesh will be processed, and there you have it. You can preview by using the Explode Amount slider. So there we go. And as far as a simple destructible goes, that's really it. In order to test this in the game, we'll just make a couple of adjustments. So we want to enable impact damage. And what this means is anytime this object is in a physics reaction, it's going to take damage. And we'll want to specify how much damage it's going to take. We only need one point. And then we're talking about the depth here. Now, within Unreal Editor, you can create destructibles with one level of depth. So that would be level zero. Now, you can also go into the Apex Physics Lab, which is either a standalone application or there are plugins for Max and Maya. And you can create more complex kinds of destruction with different fracturing algorithms and even greater depths than just one level of destruction. I think you can go up to five, actually. But for our purposes, within the editor, one level of destruction here. And so that's all we really need. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Go back to our level. We'll drag our destructible into the level. I'm going to give it a little bit of altitude there. And we will enable physics simulation. Now if we hit play, we can see our object break up. And there you have it. Simple destruction.